Hey guys, welcome back to another video and as you notice, I'm in my truck which can only mean one thing, that we're going to pick up something. So, if you guys have been following the boat series, uh, you saw me take the motor out of the boat and then tear the motor apart and with assessing it, the block, my, uh, uh, my instructor is actually, owns a machine shop, so he, uh, told me that the block is a little too far gone, he didn't remember it being this bad, so I agree with him, I'm not gonna pour a whole a bunch of money into something I'm gonna JB weld back together when it might not even be, like, JB weldable, so, yeah. We're here in, uh, Lemont, Illinois, picking up a motor today, so, uh, stay tuned, and, uh, let's go pick it up, I'm already, I'm, like, five minutes away now, I drove the whole way, and I'm like, I gotta pull out the camera before we go pick up this sucker, and, uh, yeah. Facebook Marketplace is wonderful now. It has videos, so I gotta see a video of it running on the post, so I'll throw that in right now. And then also the oh there's a guy looking at me this is kind of awkward um oh yeah i went to the bank on saturday and i picked up the money so this motor i got a really good deal for and uh it's gonna be way cheaper than having to rebuild mine getting just one that already works that i can throw in and not have to wait like two months to get my boat running so uh yeah let's get right into this video As you can see right here, we are like three minutes away. So um, yeah, hopefully I didn't drive all this way to see this motor have like an issue with it that I didn't notice. But I mean, it ran good in the video. And uh, yeah, hopefully it's in the bed of my truck. If not, um, <laughs> I wasted two hours of my life driving out here and then another two driving home. So let's hope that's not the case and hope it's a good motor. So yeah, see you guys when uh, I check out the motor after I check out the motor here's an update I got the motor it's very beautiful no cracks no nothing it should be perfect just needs a little bit of a tune-up I mean it runs fine though but still you don't want to get stranded out on the lake you know but uh I just stopped here in probably like one of the like prettiest towns ever it's called Lermy Illinois and this place is dope and there's a festival going on right now so I'm about to go see what's up like look at this there's this nice little sidewalk this beautiful little river and over here there's all these cool old buildings and it's super hilly here which is weird because Illinois is like really flat but heck yeah this has been this is gonna be pretty cool I think okay so one thing for sure is I'm definitely not dressed for the weather and uh, yeah I walked up and down and looked at everything and it was cool and now I'm leaving and there's a dead snake what the frick? Hopefully that wasn't me that ran him over, but I gotta take a piss, so I gotta go find a restroom. I was about to leave my spot, but then I forgot to show you guys my beautiful parallel parking job. Like, this is actually kind of impressive. Not gonna lie. I, at least I was proud of myself for parking. Oh yeah. I wish I would've taken more videos of the town and everything, because there's some pretty cool like outdoor restaurants and stuff, and. There's just a lot of music everywhere, but um, I got nervous, so I only did one little clip, and it was on my phone. It wasn't even on the Canon G7X. So uh, the the style, just the style here, is really, really old school and cool. And then the hills add into it. Like I don't know if you can see those buildings over there. They look super sweet and everything. They're just, I mean, they're not crazy cool. It's just old school. Look over there. You see those? Like those things look freaking sweet. There we go. Look at that. And they got cool trains here. I just missed it, but what the heck? I, I kind of got two little clips. I got a clip because I didn't know I was filming, and then I got a clip because I started filming again. But like, look at this. 
yeah, all the cars in the town and the bikes and everything. And there's just huge, huge hills. Oh, right, people are gonna be looking at me because I'm holding a camera up in my truck. But do I care? No, because I'm never gonna see him again. Oh, like, every... <laughs> oh my god. I don't know where I stop at. I think I still hope oh, there's a cop. I probably should not have one up. Hi. Like, look at that street right there that just goes straight up. And then, like, people are out over there eating. Dream. But yeah, see everybody out over there chilling? There we go. We got a green light. Yeah. Like, look at that. Isn't that so cool? I love little towns like this. And now we are way down low and we need to be way up there. Okay, there's so many cars coming. I'm gonna shut the camera down and focus. I'm in Mexico, by the way. This clip will be pretty cool. You get to see the whole town. So the festival is right down there where I was. And then here's some of the old cool buildings right here. It's just a, a cool little town. Always, always stop and uh, check out things like that because it's cool. That's my advice for you guys. But uh, let's stop at a gas station now and get some food or something. Okay, so I've stopped at the Speedway. Oh, I just pulled my camera. And uh, I just want to check my straps before we go on the highway like this one right here. That would have definitely came loose because I didn't lock it down. But also tighten her up. I think these both could have been tight. There we go. I think she'll last all the way home. I want to tuck all these up in the corner so they don't blow, blow around. But yeah. I said I was going to stop and get food here, but there's no really good options. I mean, in that town I was just in, there was a whole bunch of like really good sit-in places, but I don't really have time to sit and eat because I got things to do today so I gotta get home so I'll probably stop somewhere on the way home I don't know if I'm gonna film it or not but uh yeah let's get this boat motor home okay guys so I've made it home I got home a while ago but I had to go to a quick run to a meeting for my engine team stuff for college so I mean it wasn't dark when I got home but now after my meeting it's dark but uh we got the motor home and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video here. Let me go back up into the garage real quick. But yeah, I just have a whole bunch of goodies coming for the boat. And um, yeah, you guys have been loving this series. Like the last video, I, I looked at it and it was like at 500 something views, probably at 600 now. So that's amazing that you guys are really liking these videos. And uh, I can't wait to throw the motor in this boat. I'm sad that the other motor didn't really work out. But the crack, it was just too many cracks and it was too far gone. Once the block starts bulging out a little bit, it's not savable. So I'm happy we got a new motor now though. So we don't have to be held up on waiting for it to be rebuilt. We can just slap a new one right in. And we can focus more on interior because it needs it really badly. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on this boat series. It's very fun. And uh, also I'm doing some boat, uh, some four-wheeler series right now too. So Go over and check those out and I got some motorcycle videos. And uh, yeah, see you on the next one. Bye.